It's time for KZ Westfield Warriors High School Basketball. We've got the Warriors covered. This game on the radio at 105.9. Also, video stream live on our website. You can see the game at WMMCRadio.com. Warriors Basketball. The pregame show is up next on FM Radio 105.9. Hello, I'm Ken Scott, President and CEO of Preferred Bank in Casey. On behalf of the directors and staff, we would like to acknowledge our special thanks to our local merchants. Our local merchants work hard to supply our community with important goods and services. They also provide jobs for the people of our area. Our local merchants are very generous in their support of schools, sports teams, churches, and community groups. Preferred Bank would like to encourage you to show your support. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Olin Enterprises Trucking Division offers a wide range of services, specializing in liquid vacs, industrial vacs, and hydro excavator services. And the hydro excavator can even arrive at night. Experienced technicians that are licensed, certified, and dedicated to customer satisfaction. 24-hour emergency service also available. Call Bolin Enterprises Trucking Division today at 217-932-4533 to discuss your project. Bolin Enterprises Trucking Division. ATI Physical Therapy, located just off Route 40 in KZ, is the premier choice for personalized physical therapy in a friendly and encouraging environment. Known for exceptional results in an upbeat atmosphere, ATI Physical Therapy provides physical therapy and sports therapy. Brock Athey, Corey Hanley, and Terry Cox strive to develop a personalized plan for you to reduce pain, improve mobility, and reduce future injuries. For an appointment, call 217-236-6155. At Kirshner Building Centers, you'll find cabinetry solutions for remodeling any size kitchen. Brighton Cabinetry offers high-quality kitchen cabinets at competitive prices. You can choose from more than 700 combinations of door styles, woods, and finishing options designed to please even the most discriminating homeowner. Kirshner Building Centers with 13 locations to serve you. Find them online at KirshnerBuildingCenters.com. In this moment, who has your back? Do you know the name of your insurance agent? Does your agent know your name? Or would you call a 1-800 number that connects you with who? Another state? Another country? Get a local independent insurance agent with Auto Owners Insurance. Someone you can call when bad stuff happens. In this moment, get an agent who will protect you in that moment. Contact Heather Schaffner, Brian James, or Julie Acne today at 217-932-5470. That is Shore Murphy and Associates of KZ. Alliance Tractor LLC in KZ carries a complete product line of John Deere, Mayrab, Landall, Steel, and Rimlinger. Whether you need parts, sales, or service, they have what you need at prices you can afford. At Alliance Tractor LLC in KZ, their goal is simple, to provide you with courteous, expedient, and professional service. Alliance Tractor LLC is also your Verizon wireless agent in KZ. Stop by and say hi to Rod Matthews and the gang at Alliance Tractor LLC in KZ. We are WMMCRadio.com, live video streaming of KZ Westfield. Warriors High School basketball, good Saturday evening from Cumberland High School alongside Tyler Wilson. I'm Joey O'Rourke. The Warriors getting ready to take on the Charleston Trojans in the championship game of this 2018 Ch Cumberland Thanksgiving tournament. The Warriors are 3-0. Charleston, 3-0. The Warriors got a big 67-56 victory over the Ottawa Indians last night. And then, or excuse me, Charleston won a thriller in double overtime over the host school, the Cumberland Pirates last night and they got to the championship game that was a very entertaining game in the nightcap the Warriors had a 16 to 2 lead at the end of one quarter of play and then led only by four at halftime but won by 11 as they outscored Altamont by seven in the second half we're getting ready to wrap up this third place game between Altamont and Cumberland Altamont leading Cumberland by 13 points right now but we're going to take a break we're back with more of the warriors pregame show after this on wmmc radio 
At KZ State Bank, we're working every day to be your number one bank with services designed to improve your banking experience. Ask at any of our locations about checking accounts and debit cards, our many savings options, loans for your farm, home, business, or personal needs, banking by phone, online banking and bill pay, and of course, our ATM locations. Now offering mobile banking and our new MasterCard and Visa credit cards. Your community, your bank. KZ State Bank. Now and into the future. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. At Casey's. When you're in a hurry, or even when you're not for that matter, standing in line or waiting for your prescription can be frustrating. But if you choose the pharmacy shop, your Health Mart Pharmacy, you'll get the level of service you're looking for. Health Mart Pharmacists take the time to get to know you explain your medication and answer any questions you may have your health mart pharmacy in casey that is the pharmacy shop diamond brothers insurance in casey is one of the largest independent insurance agencies in illinois diamond brothers gives you the benefit of comparison shopping with one stop See Amanda Mason for personal home and auto insurance and see Chris and Rachel Snedeker for life and health coverage. Call today, 217-932-5911 for a free no-obligation quote. Diamond Brothers Insurance in KZ. Heartland Nursing Center in KZ has been a community-based living facility for over 40 years. While some nursing centers are owned by out-of-state corporations, you can feel good knowing that Heartland is part of the Clark County community. Their professional staff is experienced. As a matter of fact, their average employee has worked there over 17 years. They are Medicare and Medicaid approved, and they offer physical, speech, and occupational therapy. Heartland Nursing Center in Casey. Personal choice is at the heart of Warriors it. Warriors basketball on WMMCRadio.com. Video stream live. Every Warriors game will be covered this year, whether it is video stream or on the radio. Good Saturday night. I'm Joey Rourke at Cumberland High School where Casey Westfield getting ready to take on the Charleston Trojans in the championship game of the 2018 Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament Warriors Basketball brought to you by BEI Automotive Repair. They service everything from small cars to big trucks. They do auto detailing too. Stop by and see them at BEI Automotive Repair. Jet Rental has almost everything you want to rent, plus Carhartt clothing and steel chainsaws. Bull and Transport delivers propane, diesel, and gasoline to homes, farms, and businesses. And let's not forget Preferred Bank, Casey's hometown bank. Ken Scott and his staff are backing the Warriors. Altamont has defeated Cumberland. 56 to 46 in the third place game. So Altamont with a nice showing this year at the 2018 Cumberland Thanksgiving tournament. It was a team we saw last night, Tyler Wilson. And I was impressed with how hard that Altamont played, and they just flat out outplayed Cumberland here tonight. Very tough team, very fast team. This team doesn't have much height, so really they have to fight for it. Yeah, they do, and they 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 fought all the way in the game and pulled out 56-46. Now the Warriors, 3-0, taking on Charleston, who's 3-0. Charleston obviously a lot bigger school than Casey Westfield, and the Warriors going to have a challenge here tonight. The Warriors played last night in a game that they got out to a big 14-point lead to begin the game, but at, four, at halftime it was only four-point lead. They did pull away to win by 11 in the second half, but it was close the whole way, and Again, we talked with Coach Brandon after the game. It wasn't one of the Warriors' better games played, and they're going to have to play much better tonight against a Charleston team that's going to look to knock off Casey Westfield because both teams trying to get to 4-0 and get the championship. Yeah, championship game. You know both, both stands are going to be filled. Everyone's excited for this game. I know I am. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. There's a lot of talent on the floor and a kid that – the Warriors are going to have to be very aware of. His name is Isaac Miller. He's a 6'5 junior. He's a kid that can shoot from the outside. He can get to the basket. He had 36 last night in the victory in double overtime over Cumberland. Last night, it, the Warriors had a balanced scoring attack led by Luke Richards. He had 18 points and 16 rebounds in the victory. Marcus Downs had a nice showing for the purple and gold. Marcus with his best game all around for Casey Westfield last night. Marcus ended up with, let's look at it here, 15 points and seven rebounds in the victory. So Marcus 
played well last night. Uh, Noah Livingston, who battled foul trouble in the first half, he ended up with 12 points. He hit two big threes in the second half when, Alt when Altamont was making a run in the game. He hit two big threes. Will Hosselton had 12, Ethan Gilbert 10 in the victory. But it's going to take a much better offensive performance for the Warriors here tonight. They missed a lot of bunnies at the rim. Well, probably something that could have made the game not as close last night. And Luke Richards had multiple looks at the basket close in. Uh, Gilbert, Hosselton, they all got to the basket, just couldn't finish. And against a team like Charleston, you need every bucket that you can get. Yeah, not only were they missing a few easy ones here and there, they also had a lot of turnovers. That's something they're going to have to clean up. And if they can clean it up, they're looking good. Yeah, they are. And so it's going to be a good one here tonight. We're going to step away for another timeout when we come back. We've got more of the Warriors pregame show after this, 105.9. So many options for flooring, where do you begin? Hi, I'm Becky Osborne with Osborne's Georgia Carpet. We have a huge selection of in-stock carpet and carpet tiles. Stop in and see why Osborne's Georgia Carpet is the store for your floor. So many options for countertops and tile. Where do you begin? We have a huge selection of in-stock porcelain, ceramic, and natural stone tile, and beautiful, timeless granite countertops. Stop in and see why Osborne Georgia Carpet is a store for your floor and granite. Grill and chill at the KZDQ. The five-buck lunch continues to be good all day, every day. The Blizzard flavor of the month is Oreo Hot Cocoa. It features Oreo cookie pieces, hot cocoa fudge, and whipped topping. Family night is every Monday night from 4 to 8. Get a free kid's meal with the purchase of a combo meal. Want a free treat? Just download the official DQ app. And remember, DQ cakes are great for all of your holiday gatherings. It's all at the KZDQ, located at I-70. Welcome to First Neighbor Bank. First Neighbor is more than just a bank. We offer free safe deposit boxes for 24 months, basic no-fee checking accounts along with interest-bearing accounts for consumers and businesses, a wide variety of business, personal, and residential loans, a mobile app with free online banking, don't wait. Talk to one of First Neighbor's friendly staff and begin your new banking experience today. We are located in KZ at 918 Illinois Route 49, online at firstneighbor.com. First Neighbor Bank, where banking is made easy. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Olin Transporting KZ is your dependable bulk oil and fuel supplier to homes, farms, and businesses. They haul anything from propane, diesel, and gasoline to aviation and race fuels. Call Bolin Transport today and see how their quality personalized service meets the individual needs of their customers. Check their website, bolintransport.com, or call them at 800 650 7834. Balding trucking and excavating in Casey features dump trucks, semi dump trailers, and they are a licensed waste hauler. They can hold oversized ag machinery. They also apply ag limestone and fertilizer, and they have variable rate capabilities. They have added excavating and demolition. That's hauling, excavating, and demolition. Call Malding Trucking and Excavating in Casey. Call Dig at 932-5164 or Chalen at 232-4590. Cypher's Auto Pit Stop behind Staley Insurance in Casey offers 24-hour emergency towing, semi-trucks and autos, portable welding and roadside service. They also offer major and minor auto and truck repairs, tires used and new, used auto sales, open 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, by appointment on Saturday. We are WMMCRadio.com here at Cumberland High School on a beautiful Saturday evening in Mid-America alongside Tyler Wilson. I'm Joey Rourke. We're covering the championship game of the 2018 Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament. KZ Westfield, the Warriors getting ready to take on the Charleston Trojans. Again, both teams undefeated 3-0 on the year. Now, KZ Westfield to get here, defeated Oblong in the opening game on Monday night. Then on Tuesday, they took care of Edwards County. Then last night, they took down Altamont 67 to 56 now they play the Charleston Trojans who had to go through Dietrich Cumberland and um, let's see who Dietrich Cumberland and who's the other team over here Newton that's it Newton so both teams 3-0 on the year and Cumberland coming off a double overtime victory over Cumberland last night are the Charleston Trojans Casey Westfield again looking to clean some things up from last night's game. Again, it was a game where the Warriors had a commanding 16-2 lead after the first quarter, but kind of got away from some things, played at a 
frantic pace, and they fouled a lot. They turned the ball over a lot, just not a clean game from the Warriors. And they, again, Tyler, need to clean it up here tonight because if you don't, this is a Charleston team that they've got enough scoring that they can take advantage and make you pay. Yeah, the, <clears throat> excuse me. Last game they were very, a lot of turnovers. You know, they can't really do that against this Charleston team. Very tough team here. It is a championship game. And they need Luke Richards, Marcus Downs, Will Hosselton, and Noah Livingston along with Ethan Gilbert. And Gilbert hasn't really been in foul trouble at all this week. But Livingston, Hosselton, Richards, and Downs have all at some point found themselves in foul trouble. And last night, Noah Livingston had two fouls. Coach Brandon trusted him, put him back in. He picks up a charge, and he got his third foul. He had to sit for the rest of the half, and he went scoreless in the first half. So the Warriors going to need the Noah Livingston to be on the floor at all times. He's just too good of a talent for this Warriors team to have on the bench. Yeah, I mean, he didn't get much playing time in the first half, and he was held scoreless because of it. He was able to make his presence known in the second half once he cleaned up his fouls, but you'd really like to see him out there the whole game. And I really think that the, the Warriors, they do a nice job. Again, they're a real unselfish team. Sometimes they're unselfish to a fault, and they're trying to make, they pass up a good shot for a great shot, but sometimes you got to, that good shot's good enough, and that great shot may come with a uh, challenge of a pass that may, uh, with a de higher degree of difficulty, and sometimes you just got to take what the defense gives you, and the Warriors need to look to do that tonight. All right, Warriors basketball brought to you by the Pharmacy Shop, your health mart pharmacy in KZ. Charlie Whelan's your hometown pharmacist. Kirchner Building Center has been your home project partner for over one hundred years bringing you Warriors basketball. The Markwell Funeral Home in KZ and Greenwell Funeral Home in Martinsville. J. Phil and D. Proud to back the purple and gold and grill and chill at the KZ DQ. They've got the five buck lunch good all day long. They are proud to back the Warriors and we cannot forget Diamond Brothers Insurance in KZ. See Chris and Rachel for personal home, a auto, life and health insurance and Blackhawk Engineering. Jerry, Karen and their outstanding team are proud to back the Warriors were about five minutes away from the opening tip between Casey Westfield and Charleston for the championship here at the Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament. We're back with more after this. WMMCRadio.com. There are hundreds of insurance companies to choose from. Are you getting the best deal? R.W. Brown & Associates at 506 North Route 49 in Casey has been in the business for over 35 years. They handle life insurance, major medical, annuities, Medicare, and long-term care. Open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. R.W. Brown. J. Jen Rental in Casey says save time and money by running exactly what you need. Visit their website, jjetrental.com, to see their rental rates and current inventory. They have big city equipment with small town prices. JJet is your go-to rental store for construction companies as well as do-it-yourselfers. JJet Rental is open Monday through Friday from 7 to 5 and then Saturday from 7 to 1. They're located on Route 49, just north of Route 40 in Casey. Visit their website, jjetrental.com. Hi, this is Brian Dorsett for the Ford Store in Marshall. We're so happy to be in Marshall and look forward to growing with you, our valued customers, in both service parts and sales. When it comes to the Wabash Valley, we know it well. The Dorsett name has been established in the automotive industry for 60 years. And our hope is for you to get to know us at Dorset Ford in Marshall. So come on in, make yourself at home for service or for when you purchase your next new or pre-owned vehicle at Dorset Ford, dorsetford.com in Marshall. Keeping athletes in shape and in the game is just one of the goals of Sarah Bush Lincoln Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Our certified athletic trainers and physical therapy staff work together with board certified orthopedic surgeons and physicians to provide expertise on the sidelines and in the weight rooms to prevent, minimize, and eliminate injuries. At Sarah Bush Lincoln, we're working to keep kids in the game. Custerman Crop Insurance in Casey understands the challenges that farmers face today. After all, they are farmers too. They are family owned and they've been serving you for over 30 years. Custerman Crop Insurance offers multi peril and CRC and be sure to ask about their hail rates. Located at 702 Northeast 4th Street in Casey, it's Custerman Crop Insurance. We are WMMCRadio.com live at Cumberland High School where the Warriors are getting ready to take on the Charleston Trojans for the 2018 championship 
of the 2018 Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament. Warriors basketball brought to you by Shore Murphy Insurance and Casey Heather, Brian, Julian, Madison are proud to back the Warriors. Alliance Tractors, your John Deere, Landall, Mayrath, and Steel Dealer in Casey. That's Rod Matthews in the gang. First Neighbor Bank, Brad Fitch and his staff are proud to back the Purple and Gold. Malding, trucking, excavating, and farm seeds. See Dick, Janet, and Chalen today in Osborne's Georgia Carpet. For all your flooring and countertop needs, they're in front of Furniture Row in Terre Haute. See Rob Osborne alongside Tyler Wilson. I'm Joey O'Rourke. A good crowd has filed into the gym here for the championship game between Casey Westfield and Charleston. The Warriors definitely have more fans in the stands. Casey Westfield fired up about this team, and they should be there at 3-0, looking to go to 4-0 and win back-to-back -back Cumberland Thanksgiving champion, tournament championships. And this is a team, again, I get excited every time I see. They're a talented team. They share the basketball. They can, I mean, they've they scored in the 60s every game this week, and they, and they really they do it without, with, pretty, with ease. And uh, I look for more of that tonight. This is going to be an up-and-down game. This is, there's no doubt. Charleston's going to want to run. Casey Westfield likes to run. They like to play that high-pressure defense. Now the question is, is how do the referees let the game be played? Is it going to be something where they're going to try and get this game under control right from the get-go? Are they going to let them play a little bit? So both teams are going to have to feel each other out and feel the referees out on how this game is going to be called. Yeah, watching last game, it looked like they were letting them play a little bit more, which is what I would love to see. Game goes by a lot smoother, but there's got to be a point where you got to call it somehow. Yeah, and you know, and that that's one thing. I mean, different referee crews are different. Some want to get it right on right under control. Every little ticky tack foul, they're going to call. They're going to they're going to just jumble up the game, and it really does cut into the flow and the continuity of a basketball game. And then you might see a game where they let him play. Then the next game, the referees come out, and they saw that they thought that the, the the officials in the first game, like, man, they let them play a little bit more than I would. So we're like, we're not going to let that happen. We need to set the tone early. So it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. Now the Warriors play tonight. Then Tuesday night, the Warriors make the trip across the state line to West Terre Haute. They will take on the West Vigo Vikings. Now that game will be radio only due to a bad internet signal in the Green Dome. So that game will be on 105.9 FM Tuesday night. So no video streaming of Warriors basketball Tuesday night. But we'll be back with you on Friday night with the video stream. And so, uh, again, tonight, Casey Westfield taking on Charleston. This is a Charleston team that they've got some scores. they got some shooters on the outside. And, again, the, a name to remember, and you're going to want to watch for, Isaac Miller, a six foot five inch junior, had 36 points last night in the victory. A kid off the bench that can really score it is Cade Landris, only a sophomore. He's coming off Tommy John surgery in the spring, and he missed the whole baseball season. So he's looking to get back into raring to go and I talked to his dad who was a who played at Eastern Illinois and he was a really nice player at Eastern he said that his son finally starting to get the stroke back a little bit get the feel back for shooting the basketball and playing out there on the floor okay we're going to take one final time out when we come back we've got the starting lineups we've got the tip off the championship game of the 2018 Cumberland Thanksgiving tournament coming at you next right here on WMMCRadio.com. Hello, I'm Ken Scott, President and CEO of Preferred Bank in Casey. On behalf of the directors and staff, we would like to acknowledge our special thanks to our local merchants. Our local merchants work hard to supply our community with important goods and services. They also provide jobs for the people of our area. Our local merchants are very generous in their support of schools, sports teams, churches, and community groups. Preferred Bank would like to encourage you to show your support. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. You've counted on them for years for top-notch service on your vehicles. And now, BEI Automotive Repair and KZ can keep them looking as great as they run with auto detailing service, basic to premium, including shampoo and engine detail. For an appointment, call 217-932-4533. As always, BEI offers 24-hour farm tire and equipment service, including ag tires, machine shop, and heavy truck repair. 
When you're working, they're working. BEI Automotive Repair in Casey. The last thing you want to do after a hard day's work is go out in the yard and mulch and plant flowers until you turn blue in the face. No more need to worry. Let Andy Tootweiler go to work for you. He will blow you away with how beautiful your lawn and landscaping will look and how affordable his prices are. So if you want a landscape and a lawn you can be proud of, give Andy Tootweiler and Casey a call today at 217-508-8251. Warriors basketball on WMMCRadio.com. Brought to you by Stivers Auto Pit Stop featuring 24-hour towing and more. That's Charlie Stivers. Heartland Nursing Center, personal choices at the heart of it. They're serving all of Clark County. Customer and crop insurance. They're longtime supporters of the Warriors and Mashoff Heating and Cooling as your American Standard dealer, C. Brian Mashoff. The starting lineup for the Charleston Trojans. At one guard, a 5'9 sophomore, Corey Spower. At another guard, a 6'1 senior, Dayton Simpson. At a third guard, a 6'0 senior, Zach Finley. At a fourth guard, 6'4", junior Isaac Miller. And at a forward, it is a 6'5", junior Caleb Hurst. Warriors basketball brought to you by Richards Farm. They're a great place for lunch and dinner. Diane and Gary proud to back the Warriors. Casey Clinic, a member of the Sarah Bush Lincoln Health Network. C. Diane Oakley, the starting lineup for the Casey Westfield Warriors. At one guard, a 6'1", senior Ethan Gilbert. At another guard, a 6'0", sophomore Will Hosselton. At a third guard, a 6'0", sophomore Noah Livingston. At a forward, a 6'4", senior Marcus Downs. And at the other forward, 6'6", senior Luke Richards. We're ready for the opening tip. It'll be Hurst jumping it up against Richards. And Richards wins the opening tip. And the Warriors have it to begin the basketball game. Casey in their road purple uniforms. Gold letters and numberings with white trim. White and gold piping down the sides. Livingston on the left wing. Out top of the key, Hosselton three is good. He got the roll, did Will Hosselton, and it's a good start for the purple and gold. It's three to nothing. Definitely a little shooter's touch right there. Now a quick drive back on the other end. No good. Shot up there by Spower, and the rebound off to Casey Westfield. Hosselton to Livingston. Deep three is good. Nothing but nylon, and the Warriors come out firing from long range, and it's six to nothing, Casey Westfield. Cumberland, or excuse me, Charleston in their home white uniforms. With it on the left side, that is Dayton Simpson. He gets it off to Hurst, who drives to the basket. His shot up is good. It went around the world and in, and that foul, I believe, going to go against Luke Richards. That went around the rim twice, two full times before going in. So the foul is against Luke Richards, his first. And I believe that that's going to be a game plan of Charleston because Richards has a size advantage as far as the width of his shoulders go inside and so we'll have to see how that goes but Richards again a very important part of this team needs to stay on the floor 6-2 Casey Westfield on top of Cumberland RW Brown insurance for all types of insurance coverage and annuities to see RW Brown Andy's Landscape and Lawn, the pride of Western Clark County. For all your lawn and landscaping needs, see Andy Tootweiler. And after the game, we'll have the Great House of Pizza Player of the Game. They've got dinner specials every day. Again, they sponsor the Player of the Game, Trent and the Gang. They're great at the Great House of Pizza. And let's not forget, Mike Kirk is your State Farm Insurance agent in Casey, providing auto and life insurance. Mike Kirk is working to get you to a better state. We've got a little bit of perspiration over on the sideline that the referee wanting to get cleared up. 7.09 to go here in the third quarter. 6-2 Casey Westfield on top of Charleston. Marshall playing for third place down at the Capital Classic. That game scheduled to tip at 6.30. That game on 105.9 FM. J.D. Spangler has the call. Free throw no good by Hurst and the rebound off to Richards of Casey Westfield. Here come the Warriors. Hosselton to Livingston out near half court. Livingston left-hand dribble, guarded by Spower to Hosselton. Right side it goes to Downs. Downs had 15 in the victory last night. Gilbert with the basketball. He goes left wing to Marcus. He drives middle lane, kicks right wing. Now out top in between the circles, it's Gilbert. Hosselton now gets a screen from Richards. Left wing, shot fake. Livingston crosses over, now spins. Fade away, middle lane jumper up no good. And the rebound off to Dayton Simpson. Here come the Warriors. Now Simpson's pass ahead, stolen by Hosselton. Livingston to head to Will. He drops it off to Downs, and it's knocked out of bounds. Good hustle to get back by Simpson after turning over the basketball. Again, I think Will should have just taken it up there and laid it up, but he wanted to make that pass to Downs, and it was knocked out of bounds. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. One of those cases where the extra pass might have hurt them. Downs on the left wing, guarded by Hurst to Gilbert. 
the left-handed senior point guard with the basketball, guarded by Dayton Simpson. Right side out top, and now goes to Noah Livingston. Livingston gets a screen from Richards. He's going to pull up for three, and he's going to bury it. Noah Livingston has hit two threes. He's got six, and it's 9-2, to two, KZ Westfield. Noah's really feeling himself right now. Now it is Spower. To Finley. Now Hurst guarded by Richards. Drives, wild shot up, no good. Rebound, downs. Nice rebound there by Marcus. Here come the Warriors. Livingston into the front court. He'll get a screen from Downs. He's going to pull another one and hits off the mark. No good. Rebound batted for loose on the floor, and Finley comes away with it. For Charleston now, the ball is dribbled out of bounds, and it went off the back of Casey Westfield's foot. I think it went off the back of either Richardson or Gilbert or Livingston's foot, and out of bounds it went with 5.35 to go in the opening quarter. KZ State Bank, your community, your bank, proud back to purple and gold. That is KZ State Bank. Hurst into the front court. He's going to go right at Richards. His shot up is good. A soft touch by Hurst off the back of the iron. Got it to go, and it's 9-4 to four KZ Westfield. And again, it looks like that's going to be a big-time emphasis for Charleston. Drive it at, right at Richards. Now Luke down low lays it up and in. Gilbert hit him on the cut, and Luke laid it up and in quickly, and it's 11-4. Now down, steals the ball away. Marcus with a steal. Hosselton pushes it into the front court. Now will slow it up. Left side, it goes to Gilbert. Gilbert, guarded by Simpson. Picks up his dribble, needs help, gets it to Hosselton. Hosselton just left at the top of the key, goes right to side to downs, back to Gilbert up top. Left wing, Hosselton three is nothing but nylon, and it's 14 to four, Casey Westfield on top. Warriors are coming out, guns are blazing. Three. Three threes right now. Now an offensive foul called against Spower. Noah Livingston, the sophomore, stood in there and took the charge. Benches into it. Crowds are into it. We're into it. It's a great game right now. Nice job there by Livingston to take the charge. 14-4, Casey Westfield on top of Charleston. The Warriors know they can perform much better than they did in the semifinal win last night over the Altamont Indians. Gilbert with the basketball. Right side, guarded by Cade Landris, who's checked into the game. He's a good-looking sophomore. Gilbert drives. Nice pass down low. Richards can't finish with the left hand. Offensive rebound. A second put back. No good. And the rebound off to Charleston. Here come the Trojans. Hurst with the basketball. Now it is. Spower with it. And Hurst travels with it on the left wing. And so another turnover against Charleston. And Casey Westfield will get the basketball. Now full court pressure will be applied by the Trojans. Going to try and speed up the Warriors and force a turnover. They're really going right at Richards here, drawing them out to the wing with a quicker offensive player on them. Downs into the front court. Up ahead to Richards, who lays it up and in. 16-4, KZ Westfield on top. Now another turnover against... Charleston. Yeah, Caleb Hurst right there. Drove past Richardson once again. Went up for the layup, just lost it, and threw it straight out of bounds. So the Warriors will try and break this pressure. They do. Downs in the front court. Right side. Marcus with it. Cross court it goes to Hosselton. He'll drive, gets to the basket, lays it up. He's fouled. And two free throws are coming with 339 to go. 335, excuse me, to go. Here in the first quarter. So Casey Westfield really has come out, shot the ball well, and they've got a 12-point lead against this Charleston Trojans team. Yeah, Casey's looking great right now, shooting very well from the floor. Hosselton rushed himself at the free throw line, misses the first. He's got one more to come. Isaac Miller had a big game last night. He's yet to, I don't know if he's even touched the basketball yet here tonight. So the free throw's good. Hosselton's got seven to lead all scores. It's 17 to four. Casey Westfield on top of Charleston. Landris with the basketball. Now it goes to Finley who drives to the basket on Livingston and gets it to go with the left hand. A nice move there by Zach Finley, the six foot sophomore. 17-6, Gilbert with it to Hosselton. Hosselton inside, Richards, reverse layup no good and the rebound. Off to Landris. Here comes Isaac Miller. Miller guarded by Hosselton. His pass knocked away. Spower has it now. Landris. Three minutes to go. Landris, the sophomore, drives on Downs. Shot fake. His shot now blocked by Downs. 
So Marcus gets a block right there. Here come the Warriors. Hosselton into the front court to Livingston. He'll cross over. He loses the dribble turnover. Here comes Spower for Charleston. Layup is no good. Offensive rebound Hurst. His put back no good. Now Livingston has the rebound. So Livingston with the rebound. Pushes it ahead to Gilbert. Gilbert now to Richards. Down low shot up off the glass is no good. Man. Richards got to take advantage of the size. Advantage now a layup at the other end for Isaac Miller, his first two, and it's 17-8. to eight. Richards has missed three layups. Yeah, they're getting the ball down to him. He has a huge size advantage. He's getting easy layups, just not able to finish. Well, Hosselton with it now. He gets it to Livingston. Free throw line, jumper from Noah, in and out, no good. Rebound tipped, and it comes to Miller. Miller ahead. Bounce pass to Finley. His pass stolen away by Gilbert. Gilbert now pushes it ahead. The Warriors have a three-on-one. Gilbert goes to the basket. Layup is good. Ethan Gilbert, who got a shove from behind, gets it to go off the glass, and it's 19-8 to with 1.45 to go here yeah, he, in the first quarter. He kind of bumped into Richards on that layup right there. Now Gilbert almost knocked it away and stole it. Down low, it's Miller on Hosselton. His shot up no good. Offensive rebound put up and in by Isaac Miller. He's got four, and it's 19-10. to too many offensive rebounds here by the Trojans. That might be the only thing that the, the Warriors are not doing well. Now Livingston gets all the way to the basket and lays it up and in with the right hand. And it's 21-10. Noah with eight. Miller spins. Gets the pass over to Finley on the right wing. Landers out at the volleyball line. Just left at the top of the key. He'll spin on Gilbert. Drive left side. Forces up a wild shot. Got it to go. And it's 21-12. That was great defense. He was able to make that shot, but yeah, can't fault just, the defense. You just got to tip your hat right there. That was good, great defense. He just got a tough shot to go. 50 seconds to go. Hosselton with it left side to Downs at the free throw line. Livingston, who's got eight, has it on the right wing. He's guarded by Spower to Gilbert. Now Gilbert to Downs. Downs kicks. Right wing, deep three. Livingston off the back iron, no good. Rebound to Downs to Gilbert. He'll take a deep three. He'll can it! Ethan Gilbert with a three. Marcus Downs, the offensive rebound and assist. And it's 24-12. The Warriors on top by 12. That was another very deep three. Now Landris will take a three. He barely draws iron. And the rebound off to Casey Westfield. Gilbert with the basketball. 14 seconds to go. Gilbert now passes it to Downs, and it's stolen away. Finley with it to Spower. Spower bounces it to Hurst, who can't handle the pass. He gets it back, lays it up and in. It is Spower as the clock will expire to end the first half. 20 to one. We're back with more after this. WNMCRadio.com. The Markwell. Greenwell Funeral Home in Martinsville are names you know and trust. They've worked hard to earn that trust your communities for over 150 years. No matter what type of service you prefer, they are qualified to provide it. They have a proven That's the Markwell Funeral Home in Casey and Westfield and the Greenwell Funeral Home in Martinsville. The Eagle's Nest Grill in Westfield is locally owned and operated by Shane Livings. Open Tuesday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, they are open until 10 p.m. And Sundays, they are open 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The Eagle's Nest Grill has great lunch and dinner specials every day. The Eagle's Nest Grill prides themselves on having great food at a reasonable price along with an outstanding family atmosphere and great customer service. For great lunch and dinner specials, head to the Eagle's Nest Grill in Westfield. Mashoff Heating and Cooling in Casey is serving Clark, Cumberland, and Jasper Counties. Brian Mashoff is ready to service all your heating and cooling needs. Brian Mashoff has over 40 years of experience. Mashoff Heating and Cooling services residential, light commercial, and refrigeration. They are your local American standard dealer. With the unpredictable temperatures, make sure your furnace and air conditioner are up to speed. Give Brian Mashoff and Mashoff Heating and Cooling a call today at 217-276-6804. That's Mashoff Heating and Cooling in Warriors AZ. basketball on WMMCRadio.com. Brought to you by Staley Insurance. So the hometown pros in downtown Casey. Don, Tom, Brian, and Joanne. That is Staley Insurance. They're the hometown pros. Eagles Nest Grill in Westfield, locally owned and operated by Shane Living's Lunch and Dinner Specials Tuesday through Sunday. We begin the second quarter of play with the basketball. It's the Charleston Trojans. Casey Westfield has a 10-point lead if you're just joining us. 
24-14. With the basketball, it's Charleston. Lane Harrell's checked into the game. He's got it on the right wing. Also into the game, Sam Bickford. Left side, it's Finley. Bickford shot fake on Richards, drives to the basket. His shot up, no good. Richards corrals the rebound. Warriors avoided one right there. Gilbert into the front court, right hand dribble. He looks, nice bounce pass. Richards can't handle it. The ball loose and Cumber or Charleston comes away with it. Into the front court, it is Spower. Spower crosses over, drives, layup with the right hand, no good. Richards yanks down the rebound, his fifth. Gilbert pushes it ahead to Hosselton. Hosselton floater, good. Tough shot there by Will Hosselton. He's got nine, and it's 26-14. With the basketball, it is Simpson. Nowhere to go. Left side, Finley with it. The left-handed sophomore. Dr or, excuse me, there's a foul now. Excuse me, Finley's a senior. Foul along the left baseline against the Warriors, and we'll have to see who goes against, goes against Marcus Downs. So that's the Warriors' second team foul. Both teams with two team fouls here in the first half. Probably for the first time in the tournament, foul trouble has not really affected the Warriors yet. Cade Landris checks back in to the basketball game. He replaces Spower. Now Bickford takes the inbounds pass. He fires it up from the free throw line. Gilbert has his second rebound. Ahead to Richards, who's running the floor. And the big man finishes at the rim. And it's 28-14. to 14. Casey Westfield has doubled up the Trojans. Now Landris spins, shot fake, nowhere to go, kicks it to Harrell. Harrell has his pass stolen away. It's Livingston. He's going to drive. He's going to finish with the left hand. He's got 10, and it's 30-14. to 14. Timeout, Charleston. Listen to the Warriors fans go crazy. 6.23 to go in the second. 30-14, KZ Westfield on top. We're back with more Warriors basketball after this on WMMCRadio.com. In this moment, who has your back? Do you know the name of your insurance agent? Does your agent know your name? Or would you call a 1-800 number that connects you with who? Another state? Another country? Get a local independent insurance agent with Auto Owners Insurance. Someone you can call when bad stuff happens. In this moment, get an agent who will protect you in that moment. Contact Heather Schaffner, Brian James, or Julie Acne today at 217-932-5470. That is Shore Murphy & Associates of KZ. KZ Classic Cars, located behind Open Range Rentals, just off Main Street in KZ, has one simple goal. To offer a simple and stress-free shopping experience with a wide selection of quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Their team strives for excellence by assuring each customer finds a vehicle that will fit their lifestyle and budget. For quality and service you can trust, shop with KZ Classic Cars, located behind Open Range Rentals, just off Main Street in KZ, or give them a call today at 217-932-2810. At KZ State Bank, we're working every day to be your number one bank with services designed to improve your banking experience. Ask at any of our locations about checking accounts and debit cards, our many savings options, loans for your farm, home, business, or personal needs, banking by phone, online banking and bill pay, and of course, our ATM locations, now offering mobile banking and our new MasterCard and Visa credit cards. Your community, your bank. KZ State Bank. Now and into the future. We're back Remember live FDIC, here on WMMCRadio.com. Out of the timeout, Will Hosselton picks up a blocking foul. That's his first team third. Casey Westfield on top, 30-14 to 14, over the Charleston Trojans in the championship game here at the 2018 Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament. Spower and Miller back into the lineup for Charleston. Casey Westfield has their starters on the floor. They played every minute now a foul, and they're going to call a hold on Noah Livingston. That's a tough call right there. Yeah, tough call. Loose ball. Both kids going for it. They get Livingston on a hold. That'll be the fourth team foul on Casey Westfield with 6-12 to go in the first quarter. Or, excuse me, first half, second quarter, 6-12 to go. Spower inbounds it. Sideline, far side. Into the backcourt, 2K Landris. He's guarded by Livingston. Landris gets a screen, shoots a three. It's short, no good. Hosselton has the rebound. Hosselton ahead to Gilbert. Gilbert, right side, picks up his dribble, needs help. Shovels it off, two downs. Gilbert with it. Now the ball knocked away and a foul on Dayton Simpson, the sophomore. So the Warriors will have the basketball out on the sideline. 
Tonight's game is brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, located on Route 40 in Casey, offering physical, manual, and sports therapy. See Brock Athey, Terry Cox, and Corey Hanley. Crawford Memorial Hospital in Robinson, offering fracture care, sports medicine, joint procedures, and both surgical and non-surgical options. Gilbert inbounds it to Richards, who gets it to Livingston, who has a nice left-hand layup, a scoop off the glass. He's got 12, and the Warriors lead by 18. Just totally dominating Charleston in every facet right now. With the basketball, Miller on the left elbow to Hurst. To Miller. Miller gets a screen, now he spins, middle lane, shot up is good, nice move by the junior Isaac Miller, he's got six to lead all Trojan scores. Yeah, that was a great move, he read that the defender was about to reach and he hit him with a spin move. Now Gilbert has a wide open three and the bank is open late on a Saturday evening in Greenup. Gilbert with eight, he's got two first half threes. Spower guarded by Gilbert, has his pocket picked. Gilbert with the steal. Ahead, two downs, who lays it up and in, and it's a 21-point game. Casey Westfield on top of Charleston. Now another steal. Gilbert steals it to Downs. His shot high off the glass. He got it to go. 39-16, Downs with four. Wow, this team is going good right now. They're excited. Everyone's behind them. Now, and almost another steal. Now the Simpson dribble knocked away. He got it back. Now Hurst with it. Uh, shot off the glass. He jumped off of one foot. Banks it off the glass from about 15. Reminded me, from, reminded me of Ray from the movie Hoosiers on that shot. So with it, it's Hosselton. Hurst, by the way, he's got six. Down low, it's Richards. He spins, shot up, no good, but he's fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. He does that. We take a break. 105.9. Richards Farm in Casey invites you to enjoy a delicious meal with your family and friends in a warm country setting. Richards Farm has a vast array of wonderful menu items, including premium steaks. They also have an incredible Sunday brunch. All meals include their extra special salad soup and bread bar. Gary and Diane Richards and their excellent staff say, go get them Warriors. We are 105.9 FM. Luke Richards misses both free throws. Gilbert got an offensive rebound. His putback was no good. Then Richards couldn't get the putback. And now he's got a foul at the other end. It's going to go against Noah Livingston. That'll be his second personal foul. Team fifth. So Dawson DeLab going to come into this basketball game. And he's going to replace Noah Livingston. Livingston leading all scores with 12 points here in the first half. He's had a nice first half, has Livingston, but now he's going to have to go to the bench with foul trouble. Spower makes the first free throw. He's got one more. 39-19, Warriors on top by 20. A first half they've dominated from start to finish so far. Can they figure out a way to... Finish it out here in the first half. Both free throws are good. Spower's got two, and it's 39-20. With the basketball, Gilbert gets a double screen out top. Cross court, it goes to Hosselton. Left-hand drive. His pass almost knocked away. He got the loose ball back. Downs with it to Gilbert. Gilbert, top of the key. Left side, it goes to Hosselton. 3.40 to go in the first half. Hosselton gets a screen from Richards. His dribble knocked away and stolen by Charleston. Here comes Isaac Miller, and now a foul on Hosselton, and that'll be his second personal foul. So the Warriors, two leading scorers here in the first half, have both picked up their second personal foul with 3.33 to go here in the first half. Branson will come into the basketball game, and he'll replace Will Hosselton. So Hosselton goes to the bench with nine points. Livingston has 12. Yeah, you really don't want to see them get three fouls before halftime, so that's why they're taking them out. Now Charleston shooting the one in bonus from here on out in the first half. With the basketball, Hurst guarded by Downs. He's got six. Simpson with the basketball. He traveled, but no call. Now picks up his dribble. His pass initially can't be handled by Spower. Now Bickford with it. Spower drives behind the back, kicks to Simpson, left wing three, off the mark, no good. Gilbert has his fourth rebound into the front court. Gilbert crosses over, drives. Floater up is off the back iron, no good. And the rebound off to Charleston. Here come the Trojans. Simpson drives and an offensive foul called 
on Dayton Simpson, and I think at best that's a no call. Yeah. They, um, uh, now don't get me wrong. I want the I want the Warriors to have the advantage here, but no way was that a charge. And if, if anything, it's a no call. Let it just play on. Yeah, I'm definitely going to disagree with that call too. It was a good job though to get his body there and to take the charge, but I don't think that might have been the right call. 2:55 to go. Clock running, 39-20. Gilbert having trouble bringing it up in the backcourt. He's being hounded by Spower. Now Gilbert behind the back dribble. Gets a screen from Richards. Picks up his dribble. Needs help, needs help. Gets it to Branson. Branson throws a bounce pass and now a jump ball. And the possession arrow favors Casey Westfield. And Branson just picked a terrible angle to throw that entry pass into the post. Open Range Rentals, your one-stop shop for golf cart and bike rentals. They also have gifts and Warriors gear that are on Main Street and downtown Casey. Casey Classic Cars offering a stress-free shopping experience for a wide selection of used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Now Gilbert inbounds it to Richards, who gets it up and in with the right hand. He's got eight, and it's back to a 21-point lead with two and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Spower guarded by Branson. Gets it to Hurst, who drive, kicks, now Finley, shot fake, drives with the left hand, gets the basket and a foul, and two free throws are coming. The foul will go against Marcus Down. so Finley goes to the line to shoot two. We take a break, WMMC Radio. The Right Orthopedic Care right now is right in your neighborhood. Crawford Memorial Hospital in Robinson, Illinois, is proud to announce its new orthopedic team at the Bone and Joint Center to the community. The experienced surgeons will provide 24-7 coverage, including fracture care, sports medicine, joint procedures, and both surgical and non-surgical options. The orthopedic care you need is right here at home. Call 618-544-8500 today. Crawford Memorial Hospital in Robinson, where being the best is their specialty. Finley misses both free throws. The Warriors have the rebound. Branson, two Richards, and a foul, and two free throws are coming for Big Luke. Richards, two free throws are coming. The referee actually <laughs> fell down while running back. I was wondering hopefully, if you saw that too. Hopefully he's all right. So Richards will go to the free throw line where he's 0 for 2 on the night. 2-11 to go here in the first half, 41-20. Casey Westfield on top of the Charleston Trojans here in the championship game. This has been a first half that the Warriors have controlled right from the get-go. Richards' first free throw is up and good. He's got one more to come. Another balanced scoring attack so far for the Warriors tonight. Livingston leads with 12. Hostelton, the other sophomore, has got 9. Gilbert, 8. Richards has 9 after he misses another free throw. Now the ball stolen away. I didn't see who stole it. They kind of hit the dribbler's knee. Now Branson shot up no good. Richards, his shot blocked. And ahead, it's Corey Spower. He lays it up and in, and it's 42-20. 22. So now it is Branson, picks up his dribble, gets it to Gilbert. Gilbert in the front court. Left side, he'll step back. Three on the way from the left wing. It's no good. The rebound loose. Richards picks it up and in and reverse layup with the right hand. Gets it to go. He's got 11. He's got six. Actually, he's got seven rebounds here in the first half. It's 44-22, the largest lead for the Warriors. That was a great drop by Richards to use the rim as a protection from the shot blocker. Now Hurst, three, is off the mark, no good, and the rebound bounces out of bounds. It'll go to KZ Westfield, 120 to go here in the opening half. Warriors on top by 22. Dorset Ford and Marshall. Brian Dorset supports all the Clark County athletes. They've got great deals on new and pre-owned vehicles. Stop by and take a test drive at Dorset Ford and Marshall. Gilbert with the basketball. Reverses drill, gets the screen from Richards. The lap with the basketball. He gets it to Branson out in between the circles. Right side it goes to Gilbert. Gilbert will drive baseline, bounce pass, and a bad pass. Went off the Charleston defender, then off the hands of Colin Branson with one minute to go. And again, just forcing the issue when you didn't need to. The Warriors got to clean that up. 58 seconds to go. Landris back into the game. Behind the back dribble. Loses the dribble. Hint now stolen by Gilbert. Gilbert with the steal. Lays it up and in. He's got 10. He's got three steals in the first half. And it's 46-22. Now Hurst drives. Gets it to Bickford. Now Bickford double dribbles. Man, back-to-back -back turnovers right there from the Trojans. 46-22. The Warriors have actually added to the lead with Downs, Hosselton, and Livingston on the bench, which is always nice. Nice luxury to have. 
Branson with it. Inside to Richards. He spins. Layup with the left hand. No good. Rebound. He gets it. Does Luke. Now to DeLap. It'll be the one and then we'll go to the free throw. He's a 6'1 sophomore. Man, have the Warriors dominated this first half. Yeah, they've looked great. On pace for almost 100 right now. First. You to a better state. That's Mike Kirk. After the game, we'll have the Great House of Pizza player of the game. They've got dinner specials every day. Stop by and see the great people at Great House of Pizza. That's Trent and the gang. Both free throws are good. He has two, does Dayton Simpson. Ten seconds to go. So Livingston back into the basketball game. He'll bring the basketball up 49 24, down to seven, down to six, down to five. Livingston gets a screen from Richards. Livingston backs it out with two. He'll take a deep three. It's no good. Branson got the rebound, but couldn't flip it up and in. But what a first half for KZ Westfield. They score 49 points, hold Charleston to 24. Warriors on top by 25. We've got first half totals and highlights after a break. WMMCRadio.com. Alliance Tractor LLC and KZ carries a complete product line of John Deere, Mayrath, Landall, Steel, and Rimlinger. Whether you need parts, sales, or service, they have what you need at prices you can afford. At Alliance Tractor, LLC, and KZ, their goal is simple, to provide you with courteous, expedient, and professional service. Alliance Tractor, LLC, is also your Verizon wireless agent in KZ. Stop by and say hi to Rod Matthews and the gang at Alliance Tractor, LLC, in KZ. The last thing you want to do after a hard day's work is go out in the yard and mulch and plant flowers until you turn blue in the face. No more need to worry. Let Andy Tootweiler go to work for you. He will blow you away with how beautiful your lawn and landscaping will look and how affordable his prices are. So if you want a landscape and a lawn you can be proud of, give Andy Tootweiler and Casey a call today at 217-508-8251. Diamond Brothers Insurance in Casey is one of the largest independent insurance agencies in Illinois. Diamond Brothers gives you the benefit of comparison shopping with one stop. See Amanda Mason for personal home and auto insurance and see Chris and Rachel Snedeker for life and health coverage. Call today, 217-932-5911 for a free no-obligation quote. Diamond Brothers Insurance in Casey. So many options for flooring, where do you begin? Hi, I'm Becky Osborne with Osborne's Georgia Carpet. We have a huge selection of luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, and vinyl plank. Stop in and see why Osborne's Georgia Carpet is the store for your floor. So many options for flooring, where do you begin? Hi, I'm Becky Osborne with Osborne's Georgia Carpet. We have a huge selection of in-stock wood and water-resistant laminate. Stop in and see why Osborne's Georgia Carpet is the store for your floor. Keeping athletes in shape and in the game is just one of the goals of Sarah Bush Lincoln Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Our certified athletic trainers and physical therapy staff work together with board certified orthopedic surgeons and physicians to provide expertise on the sidelines and in the weight rooms to prevent, minimize, and eliminate injuries. At Sarah Bush Lincoln, we're working to keep kids in the game. At Kirshner Building Centers, you'll find cabinetry solutions for remodeling any size kitchen. Brighton Cabinetry offers high quality kitchen cabinets at competitive prices. You can choose from more than 700 combinations of door styles, woods, and finishing options designed to please even the most discriminating homeowner. Kirshner Building Centers with 13 locations to serve you. Find them online at KirshnerBuildingCenters.com. Hi, I'm Brian Dorsett for Dorset Hyundai Mitsubishi to announce that now is the time to save more money than ever on a Hyundai or a Mitsubishi. All under one roof at Dorset Hyundai Mitsubishi with two great manufacturers and the best gas mileage and warranties in the New Carolina. The 2018s have got to be moved out here at Dorset Hyundai Mitsubishi. We're welcoming the arrival of the 2019 lineup. So now is the time to save thousands and drive away in a new Hyundai or Mitsubishi for the payment of a pre-owned vehicle. 
Compare to compare at Dorson Hyundai Mitsubishi. See them all at Dorson Hyundai Mitsubishi, US 41 South, Terre Haute. Balding, trucking, and excavating in Casey features dump trucks, semi-dump trailers, and they are a licensed waste hauler. They can haul oversized ag machinery. They also apply ag limestone and fertilizer, and they have variable rate capabilities. They have added excavating and demolition. That's hauling, excavating, and demolition. Call Malding, Trucking, and Excavating in Casey. Call Dig at 932-5164 or Chalen at 232-4590. Customerman Crop Insurance in Casey understands the challenges that farmers face today. After all, they are farmers too. They are family owned and they've been serving you for over 30 years. Customerman Crop Insurance offers multi peril and CRC and be sure to ask about their hail rates. Located at 702 Northeast 4th Street in Casey, it's Customerman Crop Insurance. All right, we are WMMCRadio.com, live video streaming of Casey Westfield. Warriors High School Basketball, we're at halftime here of the 2018 Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament. Casey Westfield dominating first half, leading the bigger school, the big city kids, the Charleston Trojans, 49-24. to The Warriors jumped out to a 24-14 first quarter lead. They outscored Charleston 25-10 to in the second quarter. They lead 49-24 in just an overall dominating performance for the Warriors, and there's no doubt about it, they shot the basketball really well in the first half. Yeah, they're shooting well. They're controlling the ball a lot better than they were yesterday. They're getting the steals. They're doing almost everything very well. Yeah, they are, and again, it was a nice first half, a balanced scoring attack in the first half. The Warriors do have some foul trouble they got to worry about. Downs, Livingston, and Hosselton all with two personal fouls, but they do lead 49-24. We're at halftime. Here at Cumberland High School, we're back with more of the Warriors pre Warriors halftime show after this on WMMCRadio.com. ATI Physical Therapy, located just off Route 40 in KZ, is the premier choice for personalized physical therapy in a friendly and encouraging environment. Known for exceptional results in an upbeat atmosphere, ATI Physical Therapy provides physical therapy and sports therapy. Brock Athey, Corey Hanley, and Terry Cox strive to develop a personalized plan for you to reduce pain, improve mobility, and reduce future injuries. For an appointment, call 217-236-6155. Mashoff Heating and Cooling in Casey is serving Clark, Cumberland, and Jasper Counties. Brian Mashoff is ready to service all your heating and cooling needs. Brian Mashoff has over 40 years of experience. Mashoff Heating and Cooling services residential, light commercial, and refrigeration. They're your local American standard dealer. With the unpredictable temperatures, make sure your furnace and air conditioner are up to speed. Give Brian Mashoff and Mashoff Heating and Cooling a call today at 217-276-6804. That's Mashoff Heating and Cooling in KZ. Blackhawk Engineering in KZ is proud to support the KZ Westfield Warriors. Jerry, Karen, and their outstanding team proudly back all the KZ Westfield High School students and athletes in their academic and sporting endeavors. That's Blackhawk Engineering in KZ. There are hundreds of insurance companies to choose from. Are you getting the best deal? R.W. Brown & Associates at 506 North Route 49 in KZ has been in the business for over 35 years. They handle life insurance, major medical, annuities, Medicare, and long-term care. Open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. R.W. Brown. The right orthopedic care right now is right in your neighborhood. Crawford Memorial Hospital in Robinson, Illinois, is proud to announce its new orthopedic team at the Bone and Joint Center to the community. The experienced surgeons will provide 24-7 coverage, including fracture care, sports medicine, joint procedures, and both surgical and non-surgical options. The orthopedic care you need is right here at home. Call 618-544-8500 today. Right. Crawford Memorial Hospital in Robinson. We are doing the best. Is that special live team? video streaming of Warriors basketball. Here this year, we got great sponsors again of Warriors Basketball, BEI Automotive Repair. They service everything from small cars to big trucks. They also do auto detailing. Jet Rental has almost everything you want to rent. Plus, they've got Carhartt clothing and steel chainsaws. Bowling Transport delivers propane, diesel, and gasoline to homes, farms, and businesses. Preferred Bank, Casey's hometown bank. Ken Scott and his staff are proud to back the Warriors. And the Pharmacy Shop is your health mart pharmacy. In KZ, Charlie Wheeland is your home ph hometown pharmacist. Stop, at, stop by and say hi to him. We're at halftime here at Cumberland High School. KZ Westfield 
leading Charleston 49 to 24 in the first half. We talked about it before we went to the first break. Uh, uh, Casey Westfield, a balanced attack. Listen to this, Tyler Wilson. Oh, Noah Livingston, 12 points. Luke Richards, 11 points, 8 rebounds. Will Hosselton, 9 points. Ethan Gilbert, 10 points, 4 rebounds, 3, assi three assists, and 3 steals. And then you look at Marcus Downs. He had four, and Colin Branson, the sophomore, comes in and hits a three near the end of the first half. So a balanced scoring attack, and you look at Charleston. They had 24 points in the first half. They go 6-6, six, six, and then that was Isaac Miller and Caleb Hurst, and no other player has more than two points in the first half. So the Warriors' defense was really good in the first half. Half, they're going to need another great half if they're going to continue to dominate this game and pull it out. And that's one thing you want to see from this KZ Westfield team. You want to see them go ahead and just continue to add to this lead, play a good second half, and continue to keep this game in no-doubt territory. Yeah, you don't want to see Charleston come back and get with – you don't want this game to even be within a doubt. Okay, 49-24. We're going to take a final break here on the Halftime Show. We come back. We've got second-half action between KZ Westfield and Charleston. It's all next after this. WMMCRadio.com. You and your family's good health is important to the pharmacy shop in Casey, your Health Mart Pharmacy. They urge you to know the important numbers when it comes to your health. Monitor your blood pressure, cholesterol, and your BMI or body mass index. Knowing these numbers and having an overall fitness plan can lead to a more satisfying, active, and healthy lifestyle. Have any questions? Contact the Pharmacy Shop in Casey, your Health Mart Pharmacy. Hello, I'm Ken Scott, President and CEO of Preferred Bank in Casey. On behalf of the directors and staff, we would like to acknowledge our special thanks to our local merchants. Our local merchants work hard to supply our community with important goods and services. They also provide jobs for the people of our area. Our local merchants are very generous in their support of schools, sports teams, churches, and community groups. Preferred Bank would like to encourage you to show your support. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. WMMCRadio.com. We begin the second half in action, and both teams trade field goals. Spower led off the half with a layup. Gilbert gets a layup back. Now Gilbert pokes the ball away from the Trojans. Now we've got a jump ball in the possession arrow favors the KZ Westfield Warriors. So Gilbert did a nice job right there coming up, sweeping from behind, and the Warriors get the basketball. I mean, that doesn't go down as a steal, but it pretty much was. 51-26, KZ Westfield on top by 25. 35 seconds into the second half, Gilbert with the basketball, two downs. Downs to Livingston, left wing three, good from Noah Livingston, and it's 30, it's 54-26, Livingston's got 15. He's hit three threes here in the ball game. With the basketball, Isaac Miller guarded by Hosselton. He drives, shot up, is good. Nice move there by Isaac Miller. He's got eight, and it's 54 to 28. Livingston with the basketball gets a screen out top from Living er, Richards. Now Hosselton back to Livingston. 6:50 to go here in the third. Gilbert with the basketball guarded by Finley. Nice back cut and a nice pass from Ethan Gilbert to Marcus Downs, who's got six, and it's 56-28, a 28-point lead. Now Gilbert steals the pass. Gilbert into the front court, lays it up. He's fouled. Two free throws coming. We take a 30-second break on 105.9. The Eagles Nest Grill in Westfield is locally owned and operated by Shane Livings. Open Tuesday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, they are open until 10 p.m. And Sundays, they are open 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The Eagles Nest Grill has great lunch and dinner specials every day. The Eagles Nest Grill prides themselves on having great food at a reasonable price along with an outstanding family atmosphere and great customer service. For great lunch and dinner specials, head to the Eagles Nest Grill in Westfield. Both three throws for Ethan Gilbert are good. He's got 14 points, four rebounds, four steals, four assists in the basketball game to lead the Warriors. Now it is Miller driving to the basket. He's bumped, and he'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. That foul going to go against Will Hosselton. That'll be his third personal foul. So Hosselton with three with 629 to go here in the third quarter. Isaac Miller, who had a huge night last night, 36 points in the double overtime thrilling victory over Cumberland. 
at the free throw line, and his first free throw is up and good. He's the only real scoring threat that Charleston, you can say, has down the floor each and every time. Hurst is only a sophomore. He's still feeling his way around. Miller, second free throw up is good. He's got 10. To lead all Charleston scores, and it's 58-38. 6.20 to go here in the third quarter. Livingston to Downs. Downs to Gilbert, to Hosselton. Hosselton, back to Gilbert on the left side, to Downs. Downs, now will throw it up and in to Gilbert. Hosselton cuts to the basket, and Livingston, or excuse me, Richards finds him. A beautiful pass out of the post by Luke Richards. Hosselton's got 11. That was a great job not to just watch the ball down in the post. He stayed moving even when he didn't have the ball. Hurst now to Finley, who loses the basketball, stolen by Livingston. He'll go to the basket, lay it up, and they're going to call a foul with the body. And two free throws are coming for Noah Livingston with 545, 544 to go here in the third quarter. Two free throws coming for Livingston. He's got 15. He's played really well here tonight. Kirchner Building Center is your home project partner for over 100 years bringing you Warriors basketball. Grill and chill at the KZDQ. They've got the five-buck lunch good all day, every day. They are proud to back the Warriors. Was that free throw good? It was not. It was not good. So Livingston misses the free throw. He's got one more to come. Diamond Brothers Insurance and KZ. Chris and Rachel offering personal home, auto, life, and health insurance. That's Diamond Brothers in KZ. And Blackhawk Engineering, Jerry and Karen, along with their outstanding team, proud to back the Warriors. So Livingston splits a pair of free throws. He's got 16 to lead all Warriors scores. Now Richards blocks his shot out of bounds. It'll stay Charleston basketball. Shore Murphy Insurance in Casey. Heather, Brian, Julian, Madison. Proud to back the Warriors. It'll be Spowered inbound the basketball. He'll do it just left of the basket on the baseline. Looking, he gets it into Miller, who comes off his screen. Now kicks it back, free throw line. Hurst shot up, no good. Rebound loose on the floor. Nice hustle there by Bickford. Now it's Finley. His shot was partially blocked, but he got a layup to go. Did Dayton Simpson, and it is 61-32. The Warriors push it in the front court. Hosselton picks up his dribble at the free throw line. Kicks it to Livingston. Out in between the circles, volleyball line. Livingston goes right corner to Hosselton. Back out top to Livingston. A three on the way. Off the mark, no good. And the rebound off to Hurst of Charleston. He had a good look at it, did Noah Livingston yeah, now to get wide open. Spower spins and throws the basketball away. An unforced turnover there by the Trojans. 61-32, 5-0-1 to go here in the third quarter. The Warriors looking for back-to-back -back Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament Championships. So far, things looking good. Still a long way to go. Downs with it on the left side. Out of between the circles. It's Gilbert, left side, left wing, goes to Hosselton. Now he crosses over, drives to the basket, and finishes with the left hand. He's got 13. What a move there by the sophomore. 63-32. Spower with the basketball, picks up his dribble. Simpson. Simpson, who has four points in the game, drives baseline left. Now her. Head. Richards with the left hand did a great job shielding off Hurst from being able to tap that basketball away and he goes coast to coast does the big man Luke Richards and it's 65 to 32 a 33 point lead now with the basketball Simpson to Hurst shot up and good 65 34 but everything Charleston is getting they've had to earn here tonight yeah, great defense by the Warriors, but that move right there by Richards. Big man taking all the way down the court by himself. 65-35, 65-34. Livingston on the right wing to Richards. A nice shot off the glass over Bickford, a soft touch. He's got 15, does big Luke, and it's 67-34, back to a 33-point lead. Again, Casey has just dominated this game from the opening tip. Miller with it. Drive, spins, and travels with the basketball. That was unfortunate right there. Just lost his footing, hit the ground, took an extra step, and traveled. 
67 34, 317 to go in the third. Mashoff Heating and Cooling is your American Standard dealer in Casey. See Brian Mashoff. He's a proud supporter of Warriors Athletics. Custom and Crop Insurance. They've been longtime supporters of the Warriors. That's Mary Kay Neal and Heartland Nursing Center. Personal choice is at the heart of it. Gilbert with it. Out to Hosselton at the volleyball line. Left wing, it goes to Downs. Downs to Livingston to Gilbert. Gilbert lobs it up, and Richards is there to lay it up and in. He's got 17. I'll go along with eight rebounds, a steal, and a couple blocks. 69 34. With the basketball, now it is the Trojans. It's Hurst. He spins on downs. His shot blocked by Marcus. Now it's Finley, a free throw line jumper. Zach Finley picked up the loose ball. And he buried a free throw line jumper, and it's 69 to 36. That was a good job by Finley to stay with the play after that huge block by Downs. Gilbert with the basketball out to the right side. Livingston baseline, beautiful pass on a beautiful cut, and a beautiful finish by Will Hustleton. 71 36. Hustleton's got 15. Wow, I don't know what was better, the pass, the catch, or the finish. Bickford misses a shot along the right baseline. Now Richards' pass goes awry off the hands of Hosselton. The Warriors turn it over, and a layup is good by Jackson Braun. 71-38, 155 to go. Richards hands it off to Livingston. Now the ball is knocked away and stolen. Here come the Charleston Trojans. A floater up by Hurst is no good, and the rebound to Marcus Downs. Downs pushes it ahead to Livingston. Livingston off the backboard, and he's fouled. And we'll have to see if they say it was on the on the pass or the shot. Let's see. Yeah, I mean. They're going to give him two shots, and honestly, it was on the pass. But yeah. it's tough to tell if that was a pass or a shot. It definitely looked like a pass, though. He looked like he was throwing it off the backboard to Luke Richards. So two free throws are coming for the sophomore, Noah Livingston, who has 16 points in the ballgame. Free throw up is good. The, the two sophomores have really done a great job, Hosselton and Livingston, leading this Warriors team. 72-38. 1.38 to go here in the third quarter. Second free throw is no good. Livingston's got 17. He's two out of four from the free throw line. About the only negative no Livingston's done here tonight. Now Miller, a shot on the left baseline is no good. Downs with another rebound. He's got four. Great defense Ahead by the Warriors. from Livingston to Richards. He kicks it out to Gilbert. Gilbert, oh, what a beautiful threaded pass to Downs, who gets the baby hook to go. He's got eight. Gilbert's got five assists, and the Warriors lead 74-38. to 38. He threaded that through two defenders standing right next to each other. Perfect pass. 74-38, 1-0-3 to go here in the basketball game. Shot up no good by Braun, and the rebound to Downs, his fifth. Man, if the Warriors just annihilated Charleston here tonight. Now, Richard shot up no good, offensive rebound, Hosselton to Downs, who all of a sudden has 10, and it's 76 to 38, and the Warriors just out hustling Charleston right now. Now Hosselton steals the pass. Hosselton with the steal, with the layup. He's got 17, and the Warriors lead by 40. You heard it right, 40. And the Warriors faithful going crazy here. Now Hosselton oh. tried to get a steal and a foul. That will be Will's fourth personal with 18 seconds to go. But, man, has Hosselton been hounding on defense here tonight. Oh, my gosh. Great hustle, great hands, few steals, and he's just diving after these balls. He's looking great right now. Now a pass thrown in the backcourt, and Gilbert's going to out-hustle Miller. He's going to steal, lay it up and in. Gilbert's got 16. He's got five assists, and it's 80-38. to 80-38, to Miller into the front court. Shot up is good. Nice shot there by Isaac Miller. He's got 12. And the shot at the end of the third quarter is no good. We've reached the end of three quarters of play here at Cumberland High School. Oh, Warriors tonight. They lead Charleston 80 to 40. We're back with the fourth quarter after this. WMMC Radio. The Markwell Funeral Home in Casey and Westfield and the Greenwell Funeral Home in Martinsville are names you know and trust. They've worked hard to earn that trust. 
Together, these firms have served your communities for over 150 years. No matter what type of service you prefer, they are qualified to provide it. They have a proven tradition of dealing with families in these most difficult of times. That's the Markwell Funeral Home in Casey in Westfield and the Greenwell Funeral Home in Martinsville. Welcome to First Neighbor Bank. First Neighbor is more than just a bank. We offer free safe deposit boxes for 24 months, basic no-fee checking accounts along with interest-bearing accounts for consumers and businesses, a wide variety of business, personal, and residential loans, a mobile app with free online banking. Don't wait. Talk to one of First Neighbor's friendly staff and begin your new banking experience today. We are located in KZ at 918 Illinois Route 49, online at firstneighbor.com. First Neighbor Bank, where banking is made easy. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Cypher's Auto Pit Stop behind Staley Insurance in Casey offers 24-hour emergency towing, semi-trucks and autos, portable welding and roadside service. They also offer major and minor auto and truck repairs, tires used and new, used auto sales, open 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, by appointment on Saturday. We are 105.9 FM, video streaming live at our website at WMMCRadio.com. We begin the fourth quarter of action. Charleston with the basketball. Now we've got a foul with 7.42 to go. Clock will be running here in the fourth quarter as the Warriors dominating Charleston tonight, 80-40. to What a performance by the Purple and Gold here this evening in the championship game of the Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament. Miller. Inbounds it, gets it back, left corner three, air ball, no good. Rebound, no good by Braun, and Caleb Patrick now with a rebound as he seeing his second action here tonight in the game. So it's the lap, Patrick, A.J. Cox, Colin Branson, and Jackson Hills for the Warriors. Now Branson travels with the basketball. Warriors basketball brought to you by Osborne's Georgia Carpet for all your flooring and countertop needs. They're in front of Furniture Row, see Rob Osborne. Malding, trucking, excavating, and farm seed. Dick Jen and Shalen. First Neighbor Bank bringing you Warriors basketball. That's Brad Fitchin and staff. They're proud to back the Warriors. And don't forget, Richard's Farm is a great place for lunch and dinner specials. Diane and Gary are here cheering on the Warriors. Miller guarded by Patrick on the left side. Crosses over. Now his pass tipped out of bounds by Jackson Hills. Casey Clinic's a member of the Sarah Bush Lincoln Health Network. See Diane Oakley and her staff. R.W. Brown Insurance for all types of insurance coverage and annuities, too. See R.W. Brown. 6.20 to go. Miller gets it to Braun. Braun to Harrell. Harrell to now a new man in the game. That's number 20. I don't have him listed on my roster. Now with it. On the floor, loose ball and a jump ball. And it'll stay with Charleston. So 12 and 20 are not listed on the roster for the Charleston Trojans. Luke Bell checks in to uh, the basketball game. Still 80 to 40, clock is running at 5.45 to go in the basketball game. Andy's Landscaping Lawn, the pride of Western Clark County. For all your lawn and landscaping needs, see Andy Tootweiler. After the game, we'll have the Great House of Pizza. They've got dinner specials every day. Stop by and see Trent and the gang. KZ State Bank, they're proud to back the Warriors. Your community, your bank, it is KZ State Bank. And Staley Insurance, they're the hometown pros. And downtown KZ, Don, Tom, Brian, and Joanne. Free, layup, no good by Branson. He gets an offensive rebound. Kicks it top of the key to lap a three. Off the rim, no good. And the rebound to Bell and a foul on A.J. Cox with 525 to go in the basketball game. 520 to go. 80 to 40 Warriors on top. We take a quick break on WMMCRadio.com. Richard's Farm in Casey invites you to enjoy a delicious meal with your family and friends in a warm country setting. Richard's Farm has a vast array of wonderful menu items, including premium steaks. They also have an incredible Sunday brunch. All meals include their extra special salad soup and bread bar. Make Richard's Farm the destination of your next party. Serving you for over 30 years, that's Richards Farm and Casey. Gary and Diane Richards and their excellent staff say go get them Warriors. Warriors basketball on WMMCRadio.com. We've got live action going on. The Warriors turn it over. Now Charleston turns it over. Levi Brandenburg and Jacob Selchuk into the game. They replace DeLapp and Patrick. 
Casey Classic Cars is offering a stress-free shopping experience for a wide selection of used cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Casey Classic Cars Open Range Rentals. Your one-stop shop for golf cart and bike rentals. They also have gifts and Warriors gear. They're on Main Street in downtown Casey. Jackson Hills has the dribble knocked away and stolen. And it'll be Braun laying it up and in. He's got six off the bench. Jackson Braun's giving Charleston some nice minutes here tonight. Brandenburg to Branson. Guarded by Bell to A.J. Cox. Four minutes to go in the basketball game. 80-44. to 44. Now Hills bounces it off to Self who lays it up and in. Jacob Self has two points here and it's 82-44. Good to see Jacob get two points. With the basketball, it's Bell guarded by Hill to Harrell. He'll drive on Self. Nice defense there by Jacob Self. And he gets the rebound. And here come the Warriors. Jackson Hills will bring it up. Hills to Cox, to Branson, three and a half to go. Self down low, backs it down, shot fake, tries to go up and under, kicks it out to Cox. Now Brandenburg to Branson. He's not afraid to fire it from the right wing. His shot off, no good. And the rebound to Charleston. Here come the Trojans. They throw it ahead. Harrell, bounce pass. Shot up is short, no good, and Jacob Self has another rebound. Jacob Self looking very good this past minute right here for the Warriors. Dorset Ford and Marshall. Brian Dorset supports all the Clark County athletes. They've got great deals on new and pre-owned vehicles. Stop by and take a test drive. Self with it. Left-hand dribble picks it up. Lie dry to lob it into Levi Brandenburg. Pass is knocked away and stolen. Here come the Charleston Trojans in a hurry. Shot up is good. Nice shot by number 20 who's not listed on the roster. So he's got two. And it's 82-46. But the Warriors with two and a half minutes to go. Are going to win their back? They're going to win their second straight Cumberland Thanksgiving tournament championship in an in dominating fashion here tonight. Now a nice move by the freshman Jackson Hills. So everybody getting involved here tonight. Jackson Hills, the freshman, gets it to go. Now we've got two subs coming in. 2:20 to go on the basketball game. 84-46 Warriors. We've got another break. WMMCRadio.com. Olin Transporting Casey is your dependable bulk oil and fuel supplier to homes, farms, and businesses. They haul anything from propane, diesel, and gasoline to aviation and race fuels. Call Olin Transport today and see how their quality, personalized service meets the individual needs of their customers. Check their website, bolandtransport.com, or call them at 800 650 We are WMNCRadio.com. Colin Branson was just called for a foul. The Eagles Nest Grill in Westfield, locally owned and operated by Shane Livings. They've got lunch and dinner specials Tuesday through Sunday. ATI Physical Therapy, located on Route 40 in Casey, offering physical, manual, and sports therapy. See Brock, A.T. Terry Cox, and Corey Hanley. 90 seconds to go in the basketball game, 84-46. Harrell couldn't get a floater to go. Levi Brandenburg has a rebound. So Levi officially into the box score with a rebound. Jackson Hills to A.J. Cox. Cox to Brandenburg. 1-10 to go. Hills with it. He'll drive, gets to the basket, lays it up, and an offensive foul called on Jackson Hills with 105 to go in the game. Crawford Memorial Hospital in Robinson offering joint are offering fracture care, sports medicine, and joint procedures, both surgical and non-surgical options. Great sponsors of Warriors basketball. We appreciate their support very much. Jackson Hills comes away with a steal. So Jackson Hills has had a nice game off the bench for the Warriors in his time. Now Cox throws it away. A little bit of miscommunication right there. Somebody actually took their hands away from the ball. 30 seconds to go in the basketball game. Casey Westfield going to be victorious here tonight. Going to improve to 4-0 on the young season. Now Hills ties it up. And a nice play there by Jackson. 20 seconds to go. Clock running. It's been a running clock here in the fourth quarter as Casey Westfield is, was up 40 when this started. Down to 10 seconds to go. Charleston inbounds the basketball. It's Harrell with it with five. He drives. His shot blocked. And now a shot is blocked with two seconds to go. And free throws are going to come. So we're going to have to shoot two free throws officially for this game. So, we, so we're going to have to have two free throws officially for this game to be officially in the book. So two free throws 
are coming. First one's up and good. One more free throw to come. Second one is no good. Your final score, KZ Westfield defeats Charleston for back-to-back -back championships at the 2018 Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament. Your final score, KZ Westfield, 84. Charleston, 47. The Warriors are 4-0. We've got totals and highlights after a break on WMMCRadio.com. Hello, I'm Ken Scott, President and CEO of Preferred Bank and KZ. On behalf of the directors and staff, we would like to acknowledge our special thanks to our local merchants. Our local merchants work hard to supply our community with important goods and services. They also provide jobs for the people of our area. Our local merchants are very generous in their support of schools, sports teams, churches, and community groups. Preferred Bank would like to encourage you to show your support. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Alliance Tractor LLC in Casey carries a complete product line of John Deere, Mayrab, Landall, Steel, and Rimlinger. Whether you need parts, sales, or service, they have what you need at prices you can afford. At Alliance Tractor LLC in Casey, their goal is simple, to provide you with courteous, expedient, and professional service. Alliance Tractor LLC is also your Verizon wireless agent in Casey. Stop by and say hi to Rod Matthews and the gang at Alliance Tractor LLC in Casey. So many options for flooring, where do you begin? Hi, I'm Becky Osborne with Osborne's Georgia Carpet. We have a huge selection of in-stock carpet and carpet tiles. Stop in and see why Osborne's Georgia Carpet is the store for your floor. So many options for countertops and tile, where do you begin? We have a huge selection of in-stock porcelain, ceramic, and natural stone tile, and beautiful, timeless granite countertops. Stop in and see why Osborne's Georgia Carpet is the store for your floor and granite. ATI Physical Therapy, located just off Route 40 in KZ, is the premier choice for personalized physical therapy in a friendly and encouraging environment. Known for exceptional results in an upbeat atmosphere, ATI Physical Therapy provides physical therapy and sports therapy. Brock Athey, Corey Hanley, and Terry Cox strive to develop a personalized plan for you to reduce pain, improve mobility, and reduce future injuries. For an appointment, call 217-236-6155. We are WMMCRadio.com, live video streaming of Warriors basketball alongside Tyler Wilson. I'm at Cumberland High School where the KZ faithful are, KZ Westfield faithful, are leaving this gym happy. The Warriors are 2018 Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament champions. They defeat Charleston 84-47. to 47. Tyler, this was a game that the Warriors dominating from the opening tip. Oh, yeah, this is... They really played to their potential in this one. Huge game for them. Everyone was playing well. Not really many negatives at all for this game. No, and the Warriors played very well. The um, You look at it, it's just a great team effort. Balanced attack here tonight. Everybody got in the action. Even the, the substitutes that came off the bench played well for the Warriors here in the victory. Casey Westfield. Defeats Charleston 84 47. The Warriors are 4 0, and they are the 2018 Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament champions. We've got more of the post game show after this on WMMCRadio.com. 
At KZ State Bank, we're working every day to be your number one bank with services designed to improve your banking experience. Ask at any of our locations about checking accounts and debit cards, our many savings options, loans for your farm, home, business, or personal needs, banking by phone, online banking and bill pay, and of course, our ATM locations. Now offering mobile banking and our new MasterCard and Visa credit cards. Your community, your bank. KZ State Bank. Now and into the future. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Open Range Rentals in KZ, located across the street from the world's largest mailbox, is your one stop shop for golf cart rentals, bike rentals, souvenirs, and warrior's gear. They offer golf cart and bike rentals by the half hour, hour, and day. This makes taking in all of the world's largest attractions seamless. Your one stop shop for golf cart rentals, bike rentals, souvenirs, and warrior's gear is Open Range Rentals, located across the street from the world's largest mailbox in KZ. For more information, check them out on Facebook or call them at 217 932 5050. Grill and chill at the KZDQ. The five buck lunch continues to be good all day, every day. The blizzard flavor of the month is Oreo hot cocoa. It features Oreo cookie pieces, hot cocoa fudge, and whipped topping. Family night is every Monday night from four to eight. Get a free kids meal with the purchase of a combo meal. Want a free treat? Just download the official DQ app. And remember, DQ cakes are great for all of your holiday gatherings. It's all at the KZDQ, located at I-70. Custerman Crop Insurance in KC understands the challenges that farmers face today. After all, they are farmers too. They are family owned and they've been serving you for over 30 years. Custerman Crop Insurance offers multi peril and CRC and be sure to ask about their hail rates. Located at 702 Northeast 4th Street in KC, it's Custerman Crop Insurance. The right orthopedic care right now is right in your neighborhood. Crawford Memorial Hospital in Robinson, Illinois is proud to announce its new orthopedic team at the Bone and Joint Center to the community. The experienced surgeons will provide 24-7 coverage, including fracture care, sports medicine, joint procedures, and both surgical and non-surgical options. The orthopedic care you need is right here at home. Call 618-544-8500 today. Crawford Memorial Hospital in Robinson, where being the best is their specialty. The Eagle's Nest Grill in Westfield is locally owned and operated by Shane Livings. Open Tuesday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, they are open until 10 p.m. And Sundays, they are open 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The Eagle's Nest Grill has great lunch and dinner specials every day. The Eagle's Nest Grill prides themselves on having great food at a reasonable price along with an outstanding family atmosphere and great customer service. For great lunch and dinner specials, head to the Eagle's Nest Grill in Westfield. We are WMMCRadio.com, live video streaming of KZ Westfield Warriors High School Basketball. KZ Westfield defeating Charleston 84-47 to to capture back-to-back -back Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament Championships. And tonight, a dominating performance for the Warriors. The quarter breakouts go like this. KZ Westfield in the first quarter outscored Charleston 24 to 14 in the second quarter. KZ outscores Charleston 25 to 10. Then in the third quarter, so your score at halftime, let's get there first. Your score at halftime was KZ Westfield 49, Charleston 24. Then in the third quarter, the Warriors explode for 31 points. They outscore Charleston 31-16 at the end of three quarters of play. It was KZ 80, Charleston 40. Charleston outscored KZ Westfield, who took their starters out at the end of the third, 7-4. There was a running clock in the fourth quarter. Your final score, KZ Westfield, victorious, 84-47. Leading the way for the Charleston Trojans, it was the junior Isaac Miller. He finished with 12 points you look at the Warriors another balanced attack all five score all five starters into double figures at scoring Noah Livingston Will Hosselton had 17 apiece Luke Richard 17 p 17 points 10 rebounds he had a couple blocks he also had a steal and he took coast to coast for a layup Ethan Gilbert who we're going to go ahead and name the great house of pizza player of the game the do-it-all senior doing it all again tonight 16 points Five rebounds, five steals, five assists. What a stat line for the 6'1 senior, Ethan Gilbert. Marcus Downs, another solid performance. Coming off a big-time performance last night, Marcus Downs finished 
with 10 points and five rebounds in the basketball game. Tyler and then Colin Branson had three off the bench. Jacob Self and Jackson Hills each had two points in the game. The Warriors victorious. 84-47, Tyler Wilson, a dominating performance. And like you said, the Warriors lived up to their potential tonight. And if they play like this every night, they bring they bring that type of – they brought the intensity each and every night, but they just never – they didn't really get it all clicking on all cylinders. Boy, was it clicking tonight. Oh, wow. I mean, they were shooting lights out, playing much cleaner – way less turnovers and they were just playing extremely well and just one small thing I want to touch on before we move on I don't think there was a timeout called all game and that is really I think weird. um Charleston called one timeout one timeout that one even, timeout even with one timeout that's still a little odd but you know that made the game go faster Warriors yeah. didn't need them clearly yeah yeah Warriors didn't need him all right so here we go the Warriors 84 47 victorious back to back Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament Champions. We've got head coach Tom Brandon after this, WMMCRadio.com. In this moment, who has your back? Do you know the name of your insurance agent? Does your agent know your name? Or would you call a 1-800 number that connects you with who? Another state? Another country? Get a local independent insurance agent with auto owner's insurance. Someone you can call when bad stuff happens. In this moment, get an agent who will protect you in that moment. Contact Heather Schaffner. Brian James, or Julie Hackney today at 217-932-5470. That is Shore Murphy & Associates of KZ. Richard's Farm in KZ invites you to enjoy a delicious meal with your family and friends in a warm country setting. Richard's Farm has a vast array of wonderful menu items, including premium steaks. They also have an incredible Sunday brunch. All meals include their extra special salad soup and bread bar. Make Richard's Farm the destination of your next party. Serving you for over 30 years, that's Richard's Farm in Casey. Gary and Diane Richards and their excellent staff say, Go get them, Warriors. Mashoff Heating and Cooling in Casey is serving Clark, Cumberland, and Jasper counties. Brian Mashoff is ready to service all your heating and cooling needs. Brian Mashoff has over 40 years of experience. Mashoff Heating and Cooling services residential, light commercial, and refrigeration. They're your local American standard dealer. With the unpredictable temperatures, make sure your furnace and air conditioner are up to speed. Give Brian Mashoff and Mashoff Heating and Cooling a call today at 217-276-6804. That's Mashoff Heating and Cooling in KZ. At KZ State Bank, we're working every day to be your number one bank with services designed to improve your banking experience. Ask at any of our locations about checking accounts and debit cards, our many savings options, loans for your farm, home, business, or personal needs, banking by phone, online banking and bill pay, and of course, our ATM locations. Now offering mobile banking and our new MasterCard and Visa credit cards. Your community, your bank. KZ State Bank now and into the future. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When you're in a hurry, or even when you're not for that matter, standing in line or waiting for your prescription can be frustrating. But if you choose the Pharmacy Shop, your Health Mart Pharmacy, you'll get the level of service you're looking for. Health Mart Pharmacists take the time to get to know you, explain your medication, and answer any questions you may have. Your Health Mart Pharmacy in KZ. That is the Pharmacy Shop. Hi, I'm Brian Dorset for Dorset Hyundai Mitsubishi to announce that now is the time to save more money than ever on a Hyundai or a Mitsubishi. All under one roof at Dorset Hyundai Mitsubishi with two great manufacturers and the best gas mileage and warranties in a new car lineup. The 2018s have got to be moved out here at Dorset Hyundai Mitsubishi. We're welcoming the arrival of the 2019 lineup. So now is the time to save thousands and drive away in a new Hyundai or Mitsubishi for the payment of a pre-owned vehicle. Dare to compare at Dorset Hyundai Mitsubishi. See them all at Dorset Hyundai Mitsubishi, US 41 South Terra. At Kirshner Building Centers, you'll find cabinetry solutions for remodeling any size kitchen. Brighton Cabinetry offers high-quality kitchen cabinets at competitive prices. You can choose from more than 700 combinations of door styles, woods, and finishing options designed to please even the most discriminating homeowner. Kirshner Building Centers with 13 locations to serve you. Find them online at KirshnerBuildingCenters.com. Service, quality, and dedication to the Wabash Valley, that is Osborne Georgia Carpet. <laughs> I'm Becky Osborne, and after 29 years, we are proud to continue transforming the valley and making your flooring dreams a reality. 
We know that life happens on your floor, and our team is always ready to help you find the right floor for your life. Stop in and see why Osborne's Georgia Carpet is the store for your floor. Yep. I did see what we got some work to do next year. We are WMMC Radio. Dot com back here at Cumberland High School where Casey Westfield has defeated the Charleston Trojans 84-47. to A dominating performance in every facet of the basketball game from the opening tip. The Warriors put on a display here tonight beating Charleston 84 84- to 47. I'm joined by, I'm Joey Rourke, I'm joined by the head coach of the Casey Westfield Warriors, who of the victorious Warriors, Tom Brand, Coach Brandon, back-to-back Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament Championships. That's nice, but that's not the ultimate, it's nice to win this championship early on, but obviously that's not the ultimate goal, and there's there's other places that we want to go. Yeah, and you know, probably the first thing is um, we came up here, it's been three years ago now, and uh, you know, we uh, I believe went, you know, one, one and three up here and, um, you know, struggled every game. And, um, you know, we were just wanting to stay in, stay in close games. And um, um, that, you know, didn't happen even, even you know. So for us to do what we have done here, I mean, like, you know, win last year and then come back again and, and, and win again this year and play the way we did tonight, um, uh, it, you know, it says a lot about the boys. I mean, they really committed, you know, and they um, – uh, because – Honestly, I mean, you know, once you start playing ball and if you, you know, hey, sometimes losing and, you know, that can get easy on a guy. He can say he can get lazy and not care, but instead these guys went the other direction and now, you know, we play some really, really good basketball. And you look at it, just a total team effort and a balanced attack. I mean, all five starters again in double figures. You had three guys score 17 points in the ball game. Luke Richards had 17 and 10. Noah Livingston got off to a hot start. He finished with 17. Will Hosselton, another sophomore that just continues to grow each and every game, and he's a lot of fun to watch. He had 17. And then you look at Marcus Downs. He had 10 points and five rebounds, and, that, and that's so that's back-to-back great performances from Marcus Downs after he kind of he led the Warriors early on last night. He had 15 and seven last night. Comes back with 10 and five, and that's something you'll take from Marcus every night. Then you look at, I call him your do-it-all senior point guard. I mean, he is Mr. Do-it-all, and he's been doing it all early on in the first four games. Hopefully he can continues, he can continue that, but Ethan Gilbert, he's a great house of pizza player of the game. 16 points, 5 rebounds, 5 steals, 5 assists. When you're getting that type of production out of your senior point guard, you're going to be pretty darn good. And I, I think the big thing, you know, here as a coach, what I look at is he didn't turn the ball over maybe one time tonight, and I don't, I'm not sure about that. And if, he, and if it was, it, I think it went off our guy's fingertips. So, I mean, he had a great game, you know, and I, we all know how all tournament stuff kind of go, and, and I'm not, but, you know, if there's ever a guy who was more deserving, and we all know it, and that's one of the first things I said was, you know, E, hey, you know, uh, don't worry about that, those sorts of things. You know, people who know, know where you should be. Um, you, you had a great tournament. Yeah. I mean, um, Will, Will Hosselton, same thing. I mean, I, I mean, talk about a guy who was a good spark plug, and I think he's, again, I think through the tournament, you've seen him get better. I mean, he's... Um, some turnovers and some kind of careless fouls and careless handling the ball early first couple games tonight was flawless, good basketball. Um, and, and the only time he gets a foul is because he's just trying to outwork everybody else. Yeah, no doubt about it. And, I mean, I'm, a, I'm biased, obviously. I want Casey Westfield to do well, and I want all the players to do well. But there aren't two other players more deserving than Will Hosselton and uh, Ethan Gilbert to be on the all-tournament team. I mean, they were no doubt – Four, they're two of the best players in this tournament and deserve to be on that team. But, hey, at the end of the day, this is a team sport. And the, the best thing that the Warriors got, the victory and the championship. Exactly. And now we got to bounce back. we got Cumberland Tuesday night. No, or, no not West Vigo. West Vigo Tuesday night. Sorry about that. West Vigo Tuesday night. And that's a game. That's oh, going to be no. a tough one <laughs> going across the river. And, you know, things – basketball's played a little bit differently Joy, over there. Joy, you've been there. to the Green Dome. I've been you to the Green Dome. It's, it's it's a hostile environment. Yeah. And Coach Baylor, one of the best around, he's going to have his guys ready to go. And they're a young and talented team. No, I, yeah, exactly. And he's got a, he's already got a scout. He's probably watched every one of our game films two or three times. That's just kind of – I mean, he's just, he just a great coach, does a good job. And they'll be more than prepared for us. Um, you know, they're kind of sitting on that game for us. Um 
uh, going over there is a whole other world. I mean, you know, I don't know how many times I stood in that green locker room and wanted to bang <laughs> yeah. my head off of a green oh locker and, yeah, I hear and off a green wall. Um, and, you know, you could be playing your best basketball, but going there, it doesn't matter. And then, you know, we got to come back and then we got Cumberland. And Cumberland, I thought, you know, they gave Charleston all they wanted the other night. And actually, you know, if they wouldn't have made a couple free throws there, they, you know, they'd have been playing in this game. So, yeah, that's the truth. And you look at it, um, that's an early, and that's an early tip over West Vigo. Yes. We'll be on the air 6:30 with the pregame show. Tip off around seven for KZ Westfield and West Vigo. Coach Brandon, uh, again, congratulations to you and the boys. I love to see the way this team's coming along. I'm excited to see how they continue to grow throughout this year. But hey, mission one accomplished. Now you got to go out and you got to continue to take care of the rest of the little goals and tasks that you have. For yep. you and your team, and hey, we'll see you Tuesday night. Sounds right? good. Sounds good, Joey. That Thank is head you. coach Tom Brandon of the KZ Westfield Warriors. KZ Westfield defeats Charleston 84 to 47 to capture the 2018 Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament Championship for Tyler Wilson, for Ethan Winnett, for Caden O'Rourke, our statistician. I'm Joey O'Rourke, and for everybody at WMMC Radio, thanking you for dialing in to Warriors basketball. One more final time, KZ Westfield. Wins the 2018 Cumberland Thanksgiving Tournament Championship 84-47. Everybody have a safe and happy weekend. We'll see you Tuesday night from the Green Dome for Casey.